made um, the it's technically it's the Statue of Liberty, really. Oh yeah, that was that class. Any, like, and it was like I had a class in college to do a project, you know, women's studies. You know, I had to go back when I was old to finish my teaching degree. So I had photos put on fabrics. So I took a lot of the old pieces that I had, like, and just put in a lot of kinds of stuff and family photos representing the issues of the times in terms of women's struggles. So I'll look at something and see it kind of as it is, but more like what it could be. And I worked at Association House in the 60s. And so I started volunteering at the Settlement House, and one of the things that they had called it the caravan, and it was a way of entering into families' life in the neighborhood. And you would take this big old wood cart with art supplies, you know, crayons and all that sort of real typical kind of stuff. So you did craft kind of stuff literally on the street with trying to use project, you know, uh, products that were in the home, you know, paper bags, whatever and do the games, mm -hmm. but it was a way of connecting with the neighborhood. When we were little, what would you do with uh, our art? Like, Almost everything I do or that I enjoy doing is taking the kids' artwork and turning it into something else. Mosaics or quilts, that's my biggest fun. And like yeah. uh, when you were young, one, you held um, and, you know, your crayon or pencil yeah. like a kindergartner when you were like two. You weren't taught, you just did it. I took what you, what I did is, is I saw something on the wall that you drew and I liked it so I traced it. And then I remember just giving you a wall. But, but, but it was about the, the journey. It was about exploring stuff. It was about finding money to give you supplies. But do you feel like you've had an influence on the people around you to embrace their creativity or be more creative or anything? I hope like so. That?